Okay, he's a mega here. I'm doing a kind of like a how-to video for the uh, Sauron Light V here. I'm actually going to change the, um, the steering stem on my bike, but uh, um, ever since I've had this bike, uh, it's always had like kind of like unstable front end. It's like uh, um, it's like the front isn't like planted. It like it wants to um, yeah, it's just not stable the, the front like uh, and uh, and I think I found out why. So I kind of uh, so I've done this on a motorcycle before. Um, I work on motorcycles, okay. So I don't really work on like bicycles and stuff. Like I ride bicycles, but I don't really work on them too much. I've never really had this problem on a bicycle before. Um, but uh, the Suron Light B uses bicycle uh, forks, not motorcycle forks. So if you kind of here's the difference between a bicycle fork and a motorcycle fork. So uh, so on the bicycle fork you got your stem right here and it's clamped to the fork this the forks right here um, and then there's a long there's a long tube that goes up it's essentially it's basically the same same dealy but the way they're put together um, where the way everything goes together is different um, it's actually more complicated on a motorcycle um, but you have a bearing here and here and then there's a race right here and then the and then all that kind of like clamps clamps together. Um, so on a motorcycle, you got you still got a triple clamp set up. So there's a clamp here and a clamp here, and there's a clamp here and a clamp here. Just like just just like the it's just like a um, the uh, the bicycle forks, but uh but instead you have a stem nut here. Um, yeah, so you have a stem nut that that uh, tightens up the uh, forks together the the um, the bearing the headset so um, and then you have a you have a top clamp um, that you bolt you clamp on with the with the nut here so this one's a little different it's actually more simple um, you got the fork tube coming up here up to here and then you got a um, you got a, this kind of nut on top here or a cap with a screw in it that goes all the way to the bottom and it pulls the uh, the fork up so I, I guess like you know that's that system is much more beefy you know um, but uh, like this is the way it works for mountain bikes so I didn't know how to do that I know how to work with that but uh, I, I've been watching some YouTube's videos and uh, and I learned how to do it so I'm gonna show you how to do it I haven't done it on this bike yet but I can show you uh, I can show you how to check if you have a uh, a loose uh, headset bearing so and, and like and that's what I believe I have on this bike um, that's why uh, it feels unstable in the corner so like it feels like it wants to lift in the corner sometimes or or like the the wheel doesn't feel stable like it's kind of kind of wobbly sometimes um, and I think that's this is the reason why so we'll find out but uh, I'm gonna show you how to test it it's kind of hard to test the um, to see for, for play it's it's hard to test for play on this bike because it has a it has like a suspension fork like it actually moves and stuff so it's not like the video I watched they did on a road bike so um, it's a lot easier on a road bike because it, there's no there's no suspension nothing moves in the front so so you have to like pay really close attention to what you're doing what you're doing okay so what you're gonna want to do so like I mentioned I'm not really a bicycle guy so. I work more on motorcycles. So what you're going to want to do to, to check to see if you have play first is to um, give give your bike some front brake so it doesn't go anywhere, and and then just push forward and backwards on the bike, and then you should be able to see the headset moving around. So, um, they're saying like you can you can probably pick the bike up and drop it, but it's like I said, it's got suspension, so you can't really. You can't really do it that way. So unless unless you have a locker, if you have a, some forks have a locker um, to lock the forks, so when you're riding on the street, it doesn't like bobble all around. But um, this uh, this does not have that. So so the best way to check is to give it front brake and then move um, push your bike front and back, and then you should be able to see if your headset is loose or not. And mine is loose. So um, I will show you from a different angle so you can see what's going. On. What's going on, but that's that's kind of just how you do it, right? Okay, there. so there it is. If you can see it, so where you want to be paying attention is right here. 
So I'm going to give it some break and then push it forward and back. So there you go. See? So if I'm pushing forward, I can see it, it's moving, it's moving a little bit. It's kind of hard, to, it's, like I said, it's really hard to do it on this bike because when I'm trying to push down and up on the fork, or forward and backwards on the bike, and I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but I can definitely see it's got like about a millimeter or two of play, so, so we're going to go tighten that up. Um, and that's that's why I believe my bike That's why the bike is unstable the front is unstable on this bike All right. Okay, so I'm just I'm checking to see how how much play there is so this is the play I'm talking about it's kind of hard to see in the camera, but See a whole lot of play I'm trying to fix that right now Okay, so before we start uh, I just want to go over the tools that I'm going to use um, you're going to need a 4 millimeter and a 5 millimeter Allen, Allen wrench of some sort. So I'm going to use these T-handles here. And then it's a good idea to torque it. Um, there is a torque spec for the, um, the stem bolts. And it's 5, five newton meters. Or, or like, yeah, it's like 4, four foot pounds or something. So I'm going to use newton meters because this one has... This, this is my torque wrench right here. This is the one that I'm going to use. Um... It's already set for about five newton meters. I think it's like five to six, so you kind of get a little range. And I believe the stem bolts are four millimeters, so I got a four millimeter socket right here. So there we go. We're all ready to go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is loosen the, uh, the stem bolts. So, oh, also what you're going to want to do is probably mark, yeah, mark mark your uh, stem and your um the fork tube so so like you know to put it back in the right spot position um, unless uh if you don't then you're gonna have to like try to align everything up and this this is a better way to... okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a gold marker here and i'm just gonna make a mark somewhere like uh right here okay let that dry for a little bit, but there it is. Looks like yellow in the camera, but it's gold. <laughs> it's, I know it is kind of hard to see on the stem, but it's okay. Looks like a piece of mustard. Okay, so that's there. So like when we put it back, to, um, when we tighten everything up, we make sure it's it's right. So, um, so what you're gonna want to do next is. Uh, Loosen your stem bolts. You don't have to, don't take them out, just loosen them. And then just try to loosen them one at a time. So now that's loose, and then now what you're going to want to do is uh, tighten the top cap. Okay, so I got I got the clamp to move. It's it's, it's like a, it's super loose now. It's like you can see there's a big gap in there. That's not what you want, but. Um, what I did was I, I loosened the top clamp here, and the, the fork, um, yeah, the fork, fork tube bolts here, and then I pulled, I tugged up on it, and actually moved. So now I know, now I know this thing is loose, and and like there's, it seems like there's less space here now, uh, or there's more space. There's more space here now um, from the from the stem. So, so to actually tighten the headset, you've got to loosen this guy too. The whole thing. Um, you don't have to worry. About, you don't have to worry about the forks getting pushed up into the clamp because the bottom clamp will hold it if it's still tight. You know, so don't loosen those, or else the, the forks will just shoot up through. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna go try to tighten this. It looks like I'm I'm, I'm on the right path here. All right. Okay. So you can see here I'm I'm tightening it, 
and and the gap is decreasing here it's pushing it's pushing the clamp down there you go so it's kind of kind of does it a little crooked too you, you could mess the plate up if it's really crooked but it's basically it's pressing yeah it's pressing on the center part here so so it's 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 trying to pull all this stuff down basically so uh, alright so now now I'm gonna go set my head headset ten, um, headset tension is what you call it or torque um, and they say to set it to set it where like the handlebars still move freely but uh, I know I wish I had this on a stand right now actually I could put on a motorcycle stand I guess um, yeah so put um, basically I'm gonna tighten it until this this doesn't have any play anymore and then and then make sure the handlebars are still loose when I turn them all right here's what I'm talking about the gap so you can see this plate actually moving right here that's why there's a there was a there was a gap here before and then there wasn't when I loosened it so okay so yeah it it, it seems like I'm on the right track here so now it's pushing the clamp into the fork a little bit so um, very strange these mountain bike forks. <laughs> okay, so at this point, I think I want to check to see if uh, if it's right. The handlebars are crooked. It looks good. It looks good. It's not. Yeah, it's not really. No, oh no, it's still loose. <laughs> it's still loose. You, you, you kind of have, it's kind of a weird sensation. You kind of have to lift the bike a little bit, you know? But uh, yeah, it's it's still loose. And I can feel it. It just got loose. So it, it's, the, I guess the bearings weren't seated properly before, and then now they are. So, so now the whole handlebar is moving again. Oh, there we go. If anything, you may want to put some kind of grease or something or oil on the fork here on the top. So, I don't know. You it may like twist them or something. Okay. So when this is tight, it actually puts enough pressure where like the the handlebar will not move. I mean, the handlebar won't move on the on the fork thing. So now I want to rock it back and forth again. It's a weird like sensation. It's like kind of um, to to check for the play. You kind of have to lift the front handlebar. You have to pull the front handlebar up a little bit and like kind of let it rock for back and forth. That looks good. That looks good actually. And the thing is like I'm gonna be changing the stem anyways, so I'm gonna have to do this again. But I just want to make sure that this is right first. So rocking it, actually rocking it back and forth, it helps sit the bearings properly too. Um, the the fork almost like fell out earlier. There's some kind of cover thing that comes out here too. I think we're good. I don't see any play anymore. good um, but wiggle it a little bit and tighten it wiggle and tighten that seems like about as tight as I can make it let's see if I can snug it a little bit more you don't want it too tight so you mess the bearings up but yeah that's that feels much better than it was before so um, so now one thing we should do is pick the bike up no, don't pick the bike up. Um, I'm gonna put the bike on a on a bike stand. But... So, so it looks like the bars are too tight now, or the fork is too tight. It's not wanting to. So the way the way it is on a motorcycle, I know um, you want to be able to to just press on the bar a little bit and it'll it'll fall by itself. And it's not really doing that. It's I don't think this is do this on the ground yet. Okay. 
Actually, the pairing feels kind of notchy. It should still kind of move freely, though. So I think it's I think it's pretty close to where it should be. It, it if anything it should be a little bit looser, but I think that should be good right there. It kind of moves on its own, but not really. And the bike is like falling off the stand right now, so <laughs> this is not a real stand for this. So yeah, I think that's okay. I'm gonna go align the bars now, and that would mean I would have to loosen the cap again. So, so it's just kind of just this game of trial and error. That's <laughs> so, what it is. Uh, and then you got to make sure you tighten everything up at the end, the clamp, the stem, and the cap bolts. Um, those are the those are the things that you need to adjust or uh, tighten and loosen on 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 the Suron Light. It's not like a a normal bicycle that doesn't have a suspension fork like this. All right. Okay. So I think I, I believe I got where I want it. Um, so I'm gonna go snug everything up. Um, to do that, I get my handy dandy small torque wrench i know this is small but for this is small for like a, a motorcycle but <laughs> um, so everything should be five newton meters i've set this to about five newton meters um i'm gonna start with the with the top clamp bolts and then do the stem bolts i gotta get a longer one <laughs> for the for the for the top clamp i need long, a long allen wrench so okay. i got a long stem long dealy here so five Super loose, man. Okay. Should we do one at a time? Okay, do this one again. Okay, I'm going to get to the stem. Okay, that was really loose. It's important to do them. One at a time. Evenly, I mean, not one at a time, but evenly. So just do one, one a little bit, and then another one. So that should be it. So I'm going to go check it again. There's no play anymore. No play anymore. That's good. Got the bar centered. 
Yep. So what I did is I marked the handlebar before I, I moved it so I know it's centered. And then, uh, so one thing we can do is pop the bike up on the back. And just... It seems okay. Doesn't seem like it's too tight or anything, but I'll, I'll throw it back on the stand. I'm going to throw it back on the stand and then uh, see you. Okay, I kind of got the bike in the air. And I'm just going to move the handlebars to see if they move freely. You don't want it to be too tight. And it looks like it's okay. Oh, if anything, it looks like it's a little too tight. It, it, I'm having trouble. It's having trouble dropping, you know, into itself. But it's still smooth, you know. Yeah, yeah. It should be fine. If anything, it might loosen up a little bit. Um, so, so there you go. I think uh, I think I have solved the problem with uh, with the headset being loose. Uh, like I said, this bike has like 700 miles on it from the previous owner and and me. Um, so it it may have gotten loose over time. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say hey, the previous owner didn't put this bike back together. Maybe it's just it's a maintenance issue, you know. Uh, so from what I've seen on compared to what I've seen on the interweb, like 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 I said, I look at a park tool video and they were they showed you how to do this, but but there's an extra step that you had to do that compared to those other videos. Um, there's a top, there's a triple clamp um, clamp right here. So this is the tri one of the one of the clamps in the triple clamp. This needs to be loosened, or else. Um, and there's another spacer here too. So um, I could probably adjust the height. You can probably adjust the height of this clamp. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, but uh, but so one thing you have to make sure is there's a gap. There's a gap from the top of the stem to the fork stem, uh, from from your stem, uh, your steering stem, your steering stem. There should be a gap from from the top of your steering stem to where the fork is inside. Um, your fork stem is inside. Um, and like I mentioned, it should that I on that park tool video they said it should be like three millimeters. There's like six millimeters. Maybe there's probably actually there's actually probably less now. There's probably less. I don't want to take it apart again because like I got it where I want it right now. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, there's probably there's probably less of a gap now because it pulled the stem up further into it. So I think uh, I think we got it. Um, I, I'm just gonna have to take her out for a test drive. Uh, but uh. I do want to install this taller stem though, so I might probably do that after. It's not a big, it's not really a big deal to install taller stem right now. Um, I just want to make sure the bike handles good. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to ride it around and see if it feels better. Uh, but yeah, if you if you watched any of my previous videos of me riding this bike around, you'll 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 note that I complain about the front end a lot. You know. Like, oh, the front is like it, when I get on the throttle, the front, like, it lifts up and, like, you know, it doesn't want to grip. Or, uh, or you'll see the handlebar, you'll, you'll see me, um, you'll see me riding in the dirt and then, uh, and then suddenly you'll see the handlebar do this, like, it'll go, it'll go back and forth. Or, well, yeah, actually I have a good clip, I have a good clip of me riding on trail two at Metcalf at, like, 30 miles an hour and the handlebar is doing this, it's doing this, like this. Head shake and a straight Just line. Just so. down here. Yeah, and look at that. There's a head shake, man. There's a head shake. I get the the bars were head shake. The head was if, shaking. If something man. like that is happening to you, um, but for particular, it's you know it's a safety thing, man. It's like uh, this this bike is fast. You know, it's faster than a, than a bicycle. So <laughs> so so you want to make sure that that's that stuff. The headset bearings are are are. Uh, correctly tensioned is what I'm going to say. Uh, if it's not, it, it could be, you know, it's, it's, it could be dangerous. So, um, you could get into like a, a tank slapper or something, you know? So, um, yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's like a maintenance thing. That's why I wanted to make this vlog. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to solve this problem where, um, where the front end is, uh, is in, unstable on this bike. And I don't think it's supposed to, I don't, I haven't ridden any other light bees, but, uh, but this one is unstable the front. Um, I've caught it head shaking. I've caught it like just suddenly it'll lose grip, you know, and it just just whip around. Um, it's it's not cool. <laughs> so I'm trying to fix it. I, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. So, um, 
I, I, I don't even want to blame the previous owner. Like I said, it's just a maintenance issue that had to be addressed, I think. So I think the steering, um, I think the headset bearings are fine. Uh, it look, cause they, they still move smoothly. They're not notchy or anything, so they should be fine. Um, sort of kind of, it's touching the ground again. The bike wants to like roll forward on this stand. I gotta get it like a dirt bike stand or something. Um, yeah, so uh, I think it's good. Uh, oh, we're gonna have to take, I'm gonna go take it for a test drive and then I will just, um, I'll let you guys know. Um, I'm gonna take it for a ride around the city and see if, uh, see if it's unstable like that again. Uh, but, uh, like I think I think we fixed the problem. It's it's not a, so so you can see like if you hold the front brake before and you rock the bike back and forth kind of like you kind of have to like pick the bike up kind of like this. Don't push back and forth like this. Like actually kind of lift the bike a little bit and rock it back and forth and then you can feel you can feel and you can see you can see this part here. You can see this part here rocking back and forth if it's loose. Right now it's not doing it, but uh actually I'll show you right now. Okay, so the bike's back on the ground again, so just keep an eye on that stem. I'm going to give it front brake here, and then I'm going to kind of move it front and back like that. Yeah, it's kind of like you kind of have to lift the bike a little bit, but it's not, it's not moving at all, so that's good. Before it was moving just a little bit, like a millimeter or two. So that's a no bueno. You don't you don't want that. Um, so what I'm what I'm thinking is what makes it unstable is like yeah if there's a play, it it's fine when there's gravity on it, but if you yeah so if you if you unload the suspension, yeah if you unload that suspension, it uh it unseats the bearings a little bit, and then it gets all it gets all crazy and stuff. So that that is what, what my guess is what's going on there because um. Because gravity should hold your forks in, but like when there's no gravity, like when you're accelerating, the the bike is going up like this, right? So it everything gets unaligned and stuff. So you want you want to make sure that's tough as tight. So <laughs> the, that was the purpose of this vlog to find out how we can tighten that, and uh, and I think I did. Uh, oh yeah, all right. So uh, so so yeah, I will take it for a test ride, and then uh, I will report back on my findings. Um, uh, I think it'll be fine now, hopefully. Um, but uh, I'll see. May, uh, I'm sure because I've I I was complaining big time about the how unstable the front of this bike was. So I, I I'm hoping there will be an immediate improvement. So okay. So I I will I will create a separate blog after this video, or or I'll put, add a clip at the end of this video, and I'll let you know my findings uh, if if it actually solved the problem or not. Um, like I said, this bike has 700 miles on it, so. It's probably it was probably time to, to tighten those bearings. All right, peace we out.